is at odds with your truth. Well, I mean, doesn't the truth always be perception? The truth is a lot stranger than fiction. It's been five years, ever since that final night at Club Truth, and since then, there have been numerous clues and undeniable moments that point to Ghost being very much alive. What if I told you that we may have been looking in every other direction for the truth, when it was always in our faces the entire time? Now, out of every other theory out there on Ghost being alive, I must admit, what I am about to present to you may be hard for some to believe. But by the end of this video, you might second guess everything that you thought you knew about Ghost's final moments at Club Truth. And more importantly, the one person who played the biggest role in faking his death. I will also point out a major clue towards the end that connects Ghost and Effie together. Now I have seen numerous comments from my other Ghost Town videos, specifically the video that I made about Tasha and Tommy being in on Ghost's plan to fake his death. Some of you may have missed my main point that I made, where I mentioned the perspectives being inaccurate. The last five episodes of Power Season 6 were all different perspectives of each character. A lot of the scenes are the same in each of those episodes, but the dialogue and mannerisms are completely different in certain scenes. Which is why I came up with my theory in that video on Tommy and Tasha helping Ghost. Just because we saw Tariq shoot Ghost on screen doesn't necessarily mean that the shooting took place like we saw it. I recommend checking out my video on the perspectives before tuning into this video to get a better understanding of where I am coming from with my theories. We only saw Ghost's final moments on screen from Tasha, Tariq, and Tommy's perspective, with the dialogue being different in other episodes. We really can't 100% believe everything that we saw in Ghost's final moments on screen. So going forward, take the different perspectives into consideration as I go further into the video. And for anyone that wants to bring up Omari Hardwick's recent interview, he didn't confirm or deny the question when he was asked if Ghost was returning. Instead, he gave the same speech that he normally gives whenever he is asked about Ghost being alive. And for Omari to say that his paychecks don't say power anymore, I believe that was a very subtle hint that he gave to us, being that Lionsgate now owns Star's network. Now, episode 15 was Tariq and Tasha's perspective and how they visualized things from their own point of view. With some things actually happening, while others may have not happened like we saw, Tariq definitely felt that Ghost was standing in the way of his future, and he for sure wanted to kill Ghost. But there is one major turning point where I believe Ghost figured out that Tariq wanted him dead. When Tariq came to Club Truth with Dre and stashed the gun in the locker, I believe that Ghost checked the cameras immediately after they left. Where Ghost likely saw Tariq stashing the gun. Ask yourself this question, do you really believe that Ghost didn't suspect that something was up after Tariq brought his main enemy to his place of business? As smart as Ghost was, he definitely did. And I believe that Ghost confronted Tariq when he showed up at his penthouse, which was the next time in that same episode that we saw them on screen again. But they didn't actually show us the entire conversation. And keep in mind my theory on the perspectives. Besides you my father and I can't even trust you. That's the best move for the family, Tariq. Once I get in Albany, man, I can move some things around and get you into a good situation. I can take care of you. Now, why would you take care of me there if you can't even take care of me right here? I'm standing in front of you and I'm taking care of you. Can't believe this. And I can't believe you got your sister killed, so we even. So, hey, I guess we both got to deal with what is. It's the least you can do for the family, Rick. In exchange, I'll get your light sentence. I don't know, probation even. What am I supposed to believe? Nigga, how many fucking times have you lied to me? Huh? I think I'm the one that deserves the benefit of the doubt here, don't you? You got no choice. As you just saw, Ghost and Tariq's perspectives are very different from one another. Ghost's perspective painted a completely different picture of Tariq, and Tariq's perspective made Ghost out to be hostile and unreasonable. What if this moment between Ghost and Tariq left out a major part of their conversation? What if Ghost confronted Tariq about the gun that he stashed at Club Truth? Don't force my hand, son. If we work together, I know you can be the man that I want you to be. Both Ghost and Tariq wanted something from each other. 
Ghost wanted Tariq to attend college and graduate, while Tariq wanted Ghost to come clean about his past and to stop controlling his life. Which is why I believe Ghost could have made a deal with Tariq for him to help carry out a plan to fake his death. In return, Tariq wouldn't have to worry about Ghost controlling his life anymore. What if Ghost promised Tariq the inheritance money and club truth in exchange for carrying out Ghost's plan? If this is the case, the most important thing that Ghost needed to happen within his plan would be for Tasha to witness Tariq shooting him. So there wouldn't be any doubt in Tasha's mind on Ghost actually dying. What if I told you that I have evidence that supports this theory? We'll get back to that in a second. In Tariq and Ghost's second to last time on screen together, we saw Tariq show up to Club Truth to ask Ghost if he really wanted him to turn himself in for the death of Ray Ray. But something was very off in this scene. I believe what really could have taken place in this scene was Ghost giving Tariq his final instructions and cues to pull off the plan. When we get to the final scene of Ghost and Tariq, I believe that the conversation between them about Ghost lying about his upbringing actually took place because Tariq wanted closure on the truth about Ghost's past. But I believe that everything else was just smoke and mirrors. What if the discussion about Tariq turning himself in was only to throw us off from what was really taking place? Ghost was never really going to force Tariq to confess, in my opinion. Only in Ghost and Tariq's perspective episodes is where we saw them mention anything about Tariq confessing. And not to mention, Ghost didn't even get that idea of Tariq turning himself in until Tasha told him about Tate suggesting this. The next scene somewhat confirms my theory of Ghost wanting Tasha to witness Tariq shooting him. If you noticed in this scene, it's almost like Tariq waited for Tasha before he pulled the trigger. I believe Ghost had many different cues for Tariq during their final scene. If you notice, Tariq didn't pull the trigger until he heard Tasha open the door behind him. And I believe that was his final cue. Tariq knew that Tasha was already at Club Truth and would come try to stop him after he didn't reply back to her text. This could also be why the back door was left unlocked that Tasha entered. I believe that Ghost had on a bulletproof vest under his suit, which is why Tariq specifically aimed for his chest. A lot of moments in the final five episodes were intentionally overdramatic to throw us off. Like I have mentioned before, there has never been a moment in power where we see someone get shot one time and fall back that far of a distance like Ghost did when he fell over the railing after Tariq shot him. This was all over-dramatized in my opinion. I think that Ramona was definitely still at Club Truth and waiting on her cue to hear the gunshot so that she could call the security guard to pull up the ambulance vehicle that was most likely on standby in the garage. Here's a burn. Hold on to it until you hear from me. One more thing. He never saw my face. You got it. In Tommy's last moments with Ghost, if you noticed in that scene, once Ghost heard the ambulance sirens, that's when he told Tommy to leave. And once Tommy still didn't leave, that's when Ghost pretends that he's dead so Tommy could finally go. I believe Tommy wasn't initially aware of Ghost faking his death. But when Ghost left Tommy that envelope, I believe that there might have been a letter inside explaining everything, including where Ghost is located, if Tommy ever needed him. And think about this for a second. If Ghost did really die unexpectedly, then why would he leave info on Tommy's fixed car with attorney Daniel Warren? And why didn't Ghost just give Tommy the car before his supposed death, instead of just leaving the car sitting in storage? None of that really adds up. And one thing to keep in mind is that Ghost always had an ambulance on standby at Club Truth ever since Season 1. So it's more than likely Ghost had a nurse on standby that night. Another piece of evidence is when Monet asked Tariq if he really killed his father. This response was very telling. So you really did kill your father? You may not be here no more, but ghosts never die. 
Rather than giving Monet the straight answer, he tells her ghost never die. This is just one of many Easter eggs that gives light to my theory of Tariq being in on it. Even in the scene where Tariq finds out about his inheritance money, he didn't really seem to be that upset. Maybe because he already knew in advance. And in the scene where Tariq is reading the letter that Ghost left after he got arrested, Tariq didn't seem shocked or surprised by the letter. He seemed more so upset that Ghost was right. Now there are some that might bring up the fact that Blanca Rodriguez confirmed Ghost's dead body after retrieving the burner phone. But ask yourself, how exactly did Blanca pull a burner phone from Ghost's dead body on the crime scene if the ambulance left the club within minutes of Tariq shooting Ghost? There's no possible way that Blanca could have identified Ghost's body and investigate the crime scene if the ambulance had already left with Ghost. What if Blanca was given that phone and was lied to about the phone being found on Ghost's body? Steven out from the DNC could have easily reached out to Blanca after he got her boss Jacob Warner fired. I believe that Steven Ott could have threatened to get her kicked off of the police force if she didn't fall in line with his instructions. Now I know that some of you might point out the fact that we saw Tariq call Vincent to give up Tommy's location on screen. But in my opinion, I think that was just Tariq's perspective misleading us. Because if we fast forward to the next time we see Tommy and Tariq on screen, Tommy doesn't make any mention of Vincent or Tariq setting him up. I think Vincent may have already been following Tommy before he met up with Tariq. And finally, there is one specific theory that I would like to cover that numerous people within the comment section have mentioned before. And that theory is Effie being tied to Ghost. I always thought there was no way that this theory could be possible. But after going back and watching the episode when she was first introduced, something caught my attention. The Ghost and Effie connection might not be that deep at all. Let me explain. We were first introduced to her character in episode 2 of season 6. If you remember, Effie told Brayden that she would snitch on them if Tariq didn't meet up with her. In that same episode, just before we were introduced to Effie, Ghost popped up on Tariq at Choate to tell him that Tommy was the person who killed Angela. When Ghost went to visit Tariq at Choate, he could have came across Effie in the halls, looking for Tariq. And Effie could have told Ghost about her suspicions of Tariq dealing on campus. And from here Ghost could have gave Effie his number to keep him informed about what's going on. Now this is just another theory, but it would make a lot of sense as well. Whenever Ghost returns, it would be even more shocking if we found out Tariq was in on it the entire time. And if the plan was to never have Ghost return, we would have only gotten one final episode showing the coroner's office identifying Ghost's body, instead of a bunch of different perspective episodes with different points of view. And they would have never ran with the promotion for who shot Ghost. Ghost was more confident than we ever have seen him before in the final episode, and I believe it was due to him knowing that he had a plan to step away from it all. I believe if Ghost doesn't return in the finale of Season 4, we will get some type of reveal showing that he's alive, and that could be the cliffhanger. But when Ghost does return, it's either gonna be in Book 2 or in Force. Do you think Tariq was a part of the plan to help Ghost fake his death? Or did Ghost pull it off without Tariq? Let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe for all things within the Power Universe. See you all next time in the Universe of Power.